the plot isn't as specific, but I'll tell you why. So the song that I pick is from 1989, Out of the Woods. Uh, I I like the song a lot. I don't necessarily know what the I think the song is about like someone who's in a relationship and the relationship is like going bad, but she doesn't know if she needs to break it off or like still can continue. I'm like again, I don't dive into like the lyrics analysis and whatnot. But from the concept of it, um, basically the how should I how should I pitch this? All right. So the the film the film the story begins with the character named Emily and her partner Mark. They take this they take this trip to a remote cabin in a secluded forest, hoping to rekindle their fading relationship. They've been in a they've been in a relationship. The relationship is like kind of like they sort of like lost spark a little bit. So they decide, hey, let's go on a getaway. Uh, let's get on this getaway car uh, and uh, try to rekindle this relationship. Um, however, they they weren't expecting that this romantic getaway will turn will take like a terrifying turn in, as they go to the as they go to the woods. Kelvin's smiling very very <laughs> very big here. I don't know what's going on. Um, they didn't know that this like this forest is like kind of a little bit like cursed forest. I guess there's like spiritual elements in this in this woods. So as they ex- explore. And they encounter the supernatural phenomenon that dis- that distorts their perception of reality. Uh, the forest become kind of like a labyrinth of shifting landscapes, echoing the ever changing emotions and uncertainties in their relationship. Um, they they believe that they are like seeing, uh, they believe that they're like seeing apparitions. They believe that they're seeing spirits and they're ghosts. They're like scared. Oh, what the heck is going on? We should we should get out of here, but they couldn't find a way out. Uh, they try to escape, but the forest, like, they feel like the forest landscape keeps on changing. Um, and it feels like that there is an external force that is like trying to mess with them. And throughout their journey of trying to escape, Emily keeps on getting like flashbacks of like relieving moments. She's, she feels like the show, the forest is showing her something. She's reliving moments of her past, past memories of like her relationship with Mark. But it always feels like it's kind of showing her from a showing her these memories from a different perspective. Um, it's like it's kind of distorted. It's kind of sinister. It's not always like it's not her memory. No, it's it's her memory, but it's not like her POV. It's like she's she's seeing it from like a darker side of things, revealing like hidden hidden stuff from that memories that she didn't remember before. And same with Mark. Mark is like. Because uh, they got separated, and they're like, he they're reliving like different memories, but it's kind of like a twist of like, okay, that's not what I remember, but what's going on? It seems so real, but it's not. Um, and they're like, don't know if the ghost is messing with them, the forest is messing with them, or whatnot. Um, and like in the twist at the very end, they finally realize that the forest is kind of like a the spirits is real and the forest is real, but it's a manis- and a manifestation of their own doubts and fears of the relationship. Um, and in order to escape, they come, they must like join together, get their deepest insecurities out and their uncertainties. Um, and the movie concludes basically with like the shocking revelation of the true nature of the woods and everything like that. And this is like a psychological thriller. This is a psychological thriller. At the very end, you don't even know what is real, what is not. They don't know what is real, what is not. It's given a vague ending of if they survive their relationship or not. Um, it's a psychological horror, supernatural elements, like disorienting, like um, the narrative structure is like all over the place for a reason uh, in this na- nightmarish like forest world in this hunt, uh, uh, like a haunting reality of what their relationship is. If, if they're like in a good relationship, if they're going to survive and whatnot. This is directed by Ari Aster, the director of Hereditary and Midsommar and Bo is Afraid and uh, starring Haley Lou Richardson, uh, who sh- I don't think she's ever done a horror movie, but I like her as an actress, and I think she have the chops to do this. And Jack Rayner, who already asked her to have work in Midsommar as the boyfriend. So it's it's a it's like a two person movie, mm-hmm. Haley Lou Richardson and Jack Rayner in this like nightmarish world. Obviously, there's other supporting cast, but that's like the main story. What do you think of this one? You're muted, Kel. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, but yeah, this is a story that I would I would go for, you know, like the whole yeah. uh, supernatural aspect. Uh, I liked it, and then with the whole you know getting lost in the woods, disoriented with the psychological stuff, it reminds me a lot of the um, that Netflix thing, 
uh, what's it called? The Ritual? Have you heard of that? I've heard of it, I've never seen it. Never yeah, seen it, uh, well, yeah, something like that, yeah. Uh, but that one's dealing with grief, right? But this this one's more of the relationship stuff. So yeah, uh-huh. I, I think it, it I think it's, I really liked it. I like the whole supernatural aspect of it, especially. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it got, it got, I guess, kind of deep, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is that's like what Ari Aster kind of does, right? So I kind of like yeah. I kind of like that twist, yeah. That's a good twist, yeah. All right, Todd Sark. I really like this one, arguably a little bit more than your first pitch. Not gonna lie. I mean, I know your first I pitch agree, is a cast, but yeah, like yeah. this one, like in terms of story, I mean, this one is like it's just like so interesting. <laughs> it's just like I didn't expect like that level of deep of like psychological aspect of it. <laughs> and everything i don't think i've ever watched a film like this before i, I guess i don't know if you're trying if you're comparing to like midsommar midsommar and all that because i haven't watched that well midsommar is very it's a thriller it's not, but it's, it's not, i don't know it if it's is. like psychological that to that level this is like um like purely <laughs> this is like i kind of want to make this eternal sunshine of the spotless mind but like make it horror and like set in the woods kind of thing you know um uh, mm-hmm. But that that's a psychological aspect kind of it. That's like sort of I guess where the initial concept comes from. Uh, where you don't know what's real and what's not. And the reason why I I think I end up liking the story more as well, but I just because of psychological horror, I couldn't think of like what the exact specificities are. So that's why I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm like uh, I'm happy with this outcome or not, but I like the concept. So yeah. Yeah, because like this film just sounds like something that will absolutely mine fuck <laughs> pretty right. much it's viewers and that's that's why i just thought like oh damn this is such a well-written <laughs> such a, like a well-written premise so that's why you know, people people will be like conflicted some people will like it some people don't like it's like every psychological mm. film especially with a vague ending people are like what I don't, what the fuck is that that's like stupid or people will not like it. Some people will like, like that is like greatest thing in the world kind yeah, of people are like, <laughs> yeah i can see that people are like well what the hell did i just watch or like damn the hell did I just watch? It's a different form. It's a different form of what the hell. And then, and then I'll be on YouTube watching YouTube explain. YouTube explain. <laughs> yes, I, I have a feeling if I were to watch this, like just jump straight in there, yeah, I would need YouTube explains for YouTube film explain. Let's yeah, go. YouTube film explain. <laughs> I don't know how mind-boggling it would be to figure out once you watch the YouTube explains, and then the guy said this was inspired by a Taylor Swift song, and be like, ah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> inspired by Taylor Swift out of the woods, and then yeah, I'm like, ah. and I read it. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was what? <laughs> I, um, I would be so, I bet I could be so messed up if I was too immersed in theater. I think I would like um. <laughs> I would I would like leave the theater just like am I even in a real mall? Am I... <laughs> Eat, watch real? watch the watch the movie while actually eating psychedelics as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like walk out like ah oh. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's all in my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 